Home Houston is now home to a man who won't let himself watch television on the anniversary of the terror attacks. Ned Hibbert is live in the newsroom with this story you will see only on Fox. Ned. Rudy Deckers is an immigrant from Amsterdam. Now, he was in Florida when 9-11 happened, and he went through the same emotions we all did. It was the next day, September 12th, that his life changed forever. If only he'd known then what he knows now. Rudy Deckers can point to just one thing he'd have done differently. And if I would have listened to my heart, I would not be here. Because it destroyed my life too. After hearing a plane had crashed into the World Trade Center, Deckers flipped on the TV. When the second plane hit the building, we all knew that was an attack. There was nothing anymore like an incident, accident. It was an attack. And Rudy Deckers would know he's a pilot himself. At the time, he owned a flight school in Florida. And on September 11th, he had more information than the FBI about Mohammed Atta and Marwan El Shehi, the pilots of the planes that took down the towers. All the signatures, all the temporary licenses, everything. And uh, even the visa, even the driver's license. The government didn't have them. I had them. It wasn't until the feds came calling that Deckers put the pieces together. He had trained two of the terrorists to fly. But I was up there looking down to my body. I was in shock like I'd never been before. Rudy Decker says it was July 4th of 2000 when Atta and El Shehi inquired about getting commercial pilot's licenses. He immediately got a sinister vibe from Atta took to calling him dead man walking. But Deckers took their money and for six months tried to train them. Atta and Alshay were not listening to my instructors. They were very rude to my employees, especially female employees, very rude. He finally had enough when Atta called asking for cab fare after stranding one of Decker's aircraft on a busy tarmac. And he rented an airplane from us and he stalled the engine. And on the taxiway in Miami airport, he left the plane sitting there, stepped out the plane like nothing is going on. Rudy Deckers kicked the pair out, never heard from them again, until this. Nothing would ever be the same. Deckers says he lost everything in the aftermath. He's written a book called Guilty by Association. He moved to Houston, where he makes his living as a keynote speaker. But the past throws a long shadow. One World Trade Center now rises from ground zero as a nation tries to pay its respects and yet move on. Rudy Deckers doesn't feel it. It's fantastic for the public to see that America supports the families by putting such a huge building and monument there. That's, I think, done for the families and for the Americans. Personally, I don't have a feeling there. What he does feel isn't exactly regret, but there is a part of Rudy Deckers that sensed evil in Muhammad Atta, and he ignored it until it could no longer be ignored. I should have listened to my inner self. I didn't like Atta, and I get goosebumps now. I um, disliked him. And my whole body is now tintling. I really disliked him before he said a word to me. Maybe his aura, I mean, I'm having, you know, really a physical reaction right now again about him. Maybe I should have listened to myself. If you don't like somebody, don't do business with somebody. It would not be different for America because he would have been somewhere else. But I would not be involved. And I asked Rudy Deckers if he planned to open another flight school here. Even before I had finished the question, I had my answer. No, he shot back, never again.